everybody, Brooke Neary here, and today I want to talk to you guys about four steps to overcoming mindset issues. And the reason behind me wanting to make this video is because I know basically anyone and everyone who is in the on online entrepreneurial industry has dealt with mindset issues from minor setbacks or huge setbacks or just disasters that happen online with technology and such. So that's my reasoning and I'm going to kick this video off with number one which is awareness. And what I mean by awareness is that you need to work on being more aware I guess of your surroundings and of your intellectual being as in like say you have a minor setback, you're having technical issues or something, and you're trying to get a blog out. Well, you need to click. It needs to click in your head like, oh, I'm totally letting this little minor setback mess up my complete motivated mindset. And you can't let that happen. Little things are going to happen. There are going to be setbacks. And you just need to become aware that it's happening step back and evaluate and say, I really shouldn't be getting this mad. So just become aware of it. All right, number two is take responsibility. No one wants to take responsibility for their mess ups, but hey, it happens, we all mess up, we all have to take responsibility for it. And what I mean by taking responsibility is, um, say you're unprepared, you were supposed to get a blog out, you messed up, it's really bothering you, your whole day is shattered, you're irritated and frustrated with all your work online, well you just need to step back again and take responsibility. Say, oh, I was unprepared and now I learned from it and it's not going to happen again. So just take responsibility, learn from it, move on. All right. Now number three, here's a good one list five things that you are grateful for right now. I guarantee if you write five things you're grateful for you will start to feel better instantly because it really gets your mind going and it gets you thinking about the good things that you have in life and that is definitely a great way to help bring back that positive mindset. Alright, number four, the final thing, my favorite thing to do, read a book. If you're having mindset issues there are tons of different network marketing or personal development books that you can grab and read. As you can see, there's a whole bookshelf behind me filled with them. I can turn around, grab one. Right here, The Slight Edge, this Corey's book. He says it's great. I haven't started reading it yet. I will soon, but just pick one up, start skimming through it, start reading from other people's success stories and their wisdom and I guarantee that mindset is going to be back by the time you do these four steps. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I hope you can really use these if you start struggling with your mindset. We all go through it, but we don't have to. There are ways that you can fix it. Alright, so thanks for listening and see you guys on the next video.